I played like half of the game yesterday. Hey, we're back. Part seven? <laughs> I don't freaking know, man. It's wonderful today. Sunny, beautiful. Leaves are falling. Weather at night is nice. And we gotta find Amanda. Amanda, come at me, bro. Wonder if Amanda is a deviant or a drone too. Anything is possible, you know. Hello, Connor. Hello. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. What is up with her and umbrellas, man? So calm and peaceful, far from the noise of the world. Tell me, what have you discovered? Uh, Eden Club. I found two deviants at the Eden Club. We got to learn something, but I had to destroy them. We gotta talk a uh, careful to Amanda because. She is all about objectives. Apparently, she doesn't really care about Hank. Lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. Troubled. Uh, let's go determine. I'm just frustrated with my lack of progress. Hey. But I'm determined to accomplish my mission. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. Replace what? Indifferent. I am of no importance. The mission is all that matters. Suffer and stability down. Huh. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. So they can... So they basically create drones. If you're shit out of your job, they're just gonna simply replace you. What's gonna happen to you then? You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Lieutenant. I don't know, I think the coin uh, trick is pretty cool. Hi, Hank. What's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoning their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. I don't know, by being androids, maybe? Not yet. There's so much to look at. Mm. Have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. Station employee. Shot through the back as he was trying to get away. If one bullet straight through the heart from 50 feet. Now that's the kind of shooting only an android could do. Incident was captured by CCTV. Just two employees and three androids. Possible accomplice. The deviants took the humans hostage. Oh, we're onto something already. Then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. 
We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. Hmm. One of the deviants, SWAT took it out. It's a pity they couldn't manage to capture it alive. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the deviants, it's on that screen over there. Okay. I got you, my man. It is big, bro. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You Very much, yeah. Android hanging around? After everything that happened? Everything that happened? The FBI would take over the investigation. Did Hank's son got killed because of Have a nice day. Android? And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. What a fucking prick. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. That's not delayed now at all. Time has come for you to give us freedom. I think that's RA9. Deviants say RA9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Spare part. Optical unit. Gonna get in trouble, boy. Deviant had accomplices. He can even... Scan the reflection, that is so freaking amazing. Registered as Marcus gift from Elia Kamsky to Carl Manfred. He can even scan that shit, Jesus Christ. You see something? Well, Marcus is doomed. I identified its model in serial. He got exposed, man. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. Connor, are you lying? <laughs> Hank was like, uh, okay, whatever. Okay, what else do we have? We can we can check what this is. CCTV. Devens didn't break in. Uh, they didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. Android. Oh. We stored the station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. Interrogate androids in the kitchen. We're gonna interrogate androids in the kitchen, man. That's freaking dope. What is this hazmat suit? Jesus Christ. Speech was shot from here. Okay. Oh, a dead body. Examine. Report missing to twenty thirty six. A 
assault rifle. Okay, I'm pretty sure we checked everything and no. Stall maintenance uniform SLs were disguised. Assets were, were disguised. Assault rifle bullet holes. Let's go interrogate uh, the androids in the kitchen. Tech Haddock. Bleeding Blue. What is this? After decades of android designs that were primitive, robotic, and expensive, CyberLife revolutionized the industry through an innovation of their CEO and visionary Elia Kamsky. Oh. So Marcus was a special little, little uh, robot, I guess. Thurium 310, the chemical name of Blue Blood, which is trademark, is a compound vital to the functioning of all CyberLife androids circulating energy and electrical information throughout the machine's body. This fluid powers biocomponents, synthetic organs that roughly reflect the organ system of humans. Some of these organs serve important functions, maintain temperature, recirculating Blue Blood, and so on. Where others are used to make the androids seem more human, lungs to simulate breathing, as with humans, the loss of blue blood will impair an android's functions, ultimate, ultimately resulting in shutdown. So that's why Connor got, uh, down. That's why uh, Connor got down when uh, he got hit by the uh, FBI guy. That wasn't a big guy, I don't know. Blue Blood is essential for Cyber Life's Android's key selling point, how human they seem. That this wonder chemical at both power supply and a way of regulating the Android's inter internal, internal systems was developed by one man who isn't even a trained chemist, only furs the myth of Elia Kemsky. Green Earth, clean food craze. America's urban centers all face two growing problems, unemployment and lack of success to healthy. <laughs> what a surprise. Low calorie food, but Detroit urban farms, a pilot scheme in Michigan's capital city may have find a solution to both. Duff is an urban in a initiative that takes city that space, such as high rooftops and unused courtyards, and turns them into GM-free farmland. These farms are then staffed by urban employed, offering decent wages and supervisory roles to people who might otherwise turn to welfare or crime. Well, that's good, at least, a little bit. All food is grown without uh, pesticides, pe pesticides or other chemicals and the organic producer results in sold free specialist organi uh, organic retailers and with obesity in Detroit at record highs, more greens on the plate can only be a good thing. When brothers uh, Daniel and Parker Trent started in initiative five years ago, they couldn't even get funding. We went to every bank in the city, but nobody would lend us enough for a shovel. Now Duff employs over 50 staff, supervising hundreds of androids. We got, we get requests every day from investment firms offering us capital, but we would rather stay independent. The ethical side of what we do is very important to us. If it means we were employed and better quality food on the table, who could object? Damn. The Iron Man on this uh, on the story. All right, let's uh, investigate the uh, androids. Interrogate.
Look for reaction to spot the deviant. Okay. Mm. Function, model, function. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. Okay. Model. State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336. Four four five five eight one. Oh, we can question others as well. Witness, memory, diagnostic, contact. Witness. Were you present when the deviants broke in? I do not remember. You do not remember. Memory. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Hmm. Huh. Diagnostic contact. Diagnostic. Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. Okay. Up. Oh. Did he just roll his eyes? <laughs> Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't act suspicious. <laughs> you fucking ape. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? You just got in trouble. Only station androids in the normal course of my function. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. Yeah, there is. It's it's him I'm right there on the left. Which it is. The first one on the left, Connor. Come on. Connor. Connor. The, 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 the first one. <laughs> Don't act suspicious. <laughs> Deal. If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. Oh. Threaten. Let's threaten. Oh, you're, you're done goofed. Search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroy. You dang goof, man. He's not. He's not budging. Wow. Is he? Is it really him? I mean, it. It is him. Look at him. Look. Look at it. Look at his eyes. It's fucking him. These two didn't. Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in or two oh. innocent androids will be shut down because of you. He's not budging. Damn. Violence, bluff, torture, probe memory, probe memory. Um. See, his LED is already red. That basically means he's uh, experiencing uh, tor F, um, stress. And too much stress can shut him down. I don't know. Mm. Let's bluff. The DPs have just been caught. They gave you up. There's no point in lying. Everything. <coughs> oh, S. The what now? Hank! 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 I need help. Uh. Oh my god, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Hank! Hank! Where the fuck is Hank? Oh no, we're gonna sh we're we're gonna die. Hank! Hank, where the crap are you, man? Fuck, I can't do anything, can I? Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Okay. 
Can I do something else? Oh, fuck. We're gonna freaking die. We're actually gonna freaking die. There's nothing I can do! There's fucking nothing I can do, man! Shift! I died? No. No, 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 you still got time. You still got time. Pick it up! Pick the fucking card up! Come on, come on, Connor, come on, don't die. I think I should have probably his memory. It's a deviant, stop it. Oh shit. Oh shit, okay. Take gun, take, take, take gun, save Hank, Sa at attack, F fuck, take gun. Nice shot, Connor. I wanted it alive. You saved human lives. You saved my life. Oh, damn. Probe that shit, man. I got so lucky. <laughs> Holy shit. I found out. That I, I that I could take out the knife at the very last second, like Jesus, man. There's still this option. What is this option, though? Attack by SWAT. Analyze quarter. Analyze roof access. Oh, I didn't analyze everything. Fuck. Damn it. Hmm. Oh, this couldn't have went four more ways. No, five if you include this one. This is probably where I die. Damn. Okay. <gasps> it's snowing! Brr. Anyone home? Wait, Luther is neutral? Why, why is it neutral? I guess because we haven't known him for a long time. Hello? Chop chop. Looking for Rose? Is she here? What do you want with her? I need to talk to her. She doesn't want to talk. Go away. Rude. Please, I really need to see her. I'm Rose. What can I do for you? I was told you could help us. Help you? Come on. It's better if we talk inside. 
Yeah, fuck you, man. Trying to get rid of us. <laughs> Do you think we can trust them? Uh, I think we can. We don't have a choice. We do we have a choice? What do you mean? You okay? I'm cold, Kara. I'm cold. Inside. You'll warm up in no time. Go to the military and you're not gonna be cold anymore. <laughs> I'm cold. Come in. It's a nice haircut you got there. Uh, Luther. She's running a fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's her spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? That's a nice lady. Not a nice boy, though. Okay, we gotta follow him. Can you walk any slower? Jesus Christ. Hey, this is our room. What's up? But the beam, but the beam. Wait, is there anything I can... No. I wanted to see if I could interact with it, anything. Andres Ailes. And this time tomorrow, we'll be in Canada. I promise. Why do humans hate us? Are we gonna be in Canada though? I don't know, man. What? Complicated. Humans are complicated. Sometimes it's difficult to understand them. Why can't we just talk to each other? We can. I see we're not bad. But everyone has a different opinion. Pessimistic. Sometimes it's easier to hate than to talk. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world famous spaghetti. Spaghetti! You'll be back on your feet in no time. She made spaghetti! There's something for her fever. Thank you. How ironical is died. it? That I have spaghetti on my table as well. I mean, I'm I'm serious. Look, I got spaghetti. <laughs> so just eating. Kiss good night. Leave. So just eating. You need to eat something. You haven't had anything since we left. Promise me you'll try. I'll be downstairs if you need anything. Get some sleep. And tomorrow. Close curtains. Luthor, ain't nobody gonna be stronger than I'll you, what the crap? Ask Rose about the uh, crossing border or whatever it's, uh, it was written. I'm not a fast reader, okay? And I don't pay a lot of attention, so you know. 
Shit happens. I mean, can I enter another room? Let's check. The answer is no. Okay, never mind. I, for some reason, I have a bad feeling that we're not. There's gonna be uh, issues crossing the border. I feel like. I don't know. I didn't get your name. I just have a feeling. I'm Kara. Kara. This is my son Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. Seat. Seat boy. So are you gonna tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Cautious, sincere. Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. Why help? Why are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. Mm, many deviants? We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? Oh, that's gonna be complicated, Kara. The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. Rose, she doesn't know about the TV speech. Come on, man. Insist, no choice. Insist. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. We're gonna get shut down. <laughs> Rose, come quickly. What is happening? It's the end. Check what's going on. Let's check what is going on. Interesting. What's going on? It's Mary. She just shut down. Oh. We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? How did how did she just shut down? What happened? Let's let them be. Oh. Alice? What are you doing? You should Alice, why are you not in your bed? I wasn't sleepy. I don't give a shit. Go to bed. <laughs> Take Alice outside. It's okay. First she's cold, then she's not cold. God damn it. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. Children are so complicated. You alright, Kara? Yes. I'm fine. Is there anything I can interact? Oh. Not after what those deviants did today. 
It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh... No! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... They're nothing! And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks. That is enough, Adam! That's enough! Rude. Yeah, where are you going, boy? You're, gonna, you're going outside? You're going to cry in the corner? Why, why are you doing circles? What the fuck? Yeah, he's going crazy. That's a fact. Don't mind him. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. But he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. That voice acting, though. That's Rose about crossing the border. Yeah, we did that. Ooh. Read! Century! World War Free. World War Free. Bonus culture, why bankers pay themselves so much? This president weren't too close to cyber life. What is this? Who would win? If fighting does break out in the Arctic, who's going to win? America has less access to the area, but is surrounded by allies. Russia has a head start on technology. Their androids can work in sub-zero conditions. Oh, so Russia has androids as well. So wait, is... Canada literally the only country out of all countries that has like uh, is like um Android Freeland. The US Navy is stuck with tro Trojan and Myrmidon cyberlife units, which are especially adaptive for marine combat where the Russians have invested heavily in ice cutter units capable of forging new paths through the solid ice. Damn. Both armies seem evenly matched, and Harry Grayton, president of the World Council of Territorial Disputation, has described both US and Russian claims to Arctic territory as equally tenuous and equally cynical. A spokesperson for the UN has also commented on the neck and neck nature of Arctic competition, the fact that forces are so even the balance is just one more reason why conflict must be avoided at all costs. This is a war that no, that everybody would lose. Interesting. Treat yourself the AX four hundred starting at just seven hundred. Seven hundred dollars? You can get a freaking Android for seven hundred dollars. That is insane. 700 bucks. The police. It's the police. What are we going to do? Oh shit. Find evidence of deviance for left. Fuck. Um. Oh. They know we're here. We have to Hurry, open the door. Luther, take Alice and hide. Uh, upstairs. In the laundry room. No, up. Come on, Alice. I knew it. I, 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 I fucked up. Hide evidence. Freaking hide evidence. Hide evidence. 
Hide evidence? Where where do we have more evidence? Hide 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 hide. What else can we hide? How much time do we have? I don't know. Probably like 30 seconds. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else can we hide? Hide, hide, hide. Oh, we got 35 seconds. That's a lot. That's a lot of seconds. Come. If they see you panicking, it's over. Do you want to get us into trouble? Exactly. Do you get your mother into trouble? Exactly. Then keep calm. Then keep calm. And just do what I say. And just whatever uh, Kara says. Did I hide all the evidence? I'm not sure if I did. I feel like I missed something. We got 14 seconds. Good evening, ma'am. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. Oh. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? We need to collab May with I the cop. Uh, of course. Good evening, young man. Good evening. Don't act suspicious. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Oh, wh Have why? Was anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. Why would you anyone else in the house? fucking make a coffee? Alice. There's... There's my daughter. She's asleep upstairs. Do you have any androids here? No. No, there are no androids here. Is he not gonna ask about the uh, black boy that we have in the freaking living room? Oh no, we didn't hide. Okay, never mind. We did. Everything is fine. Thanks. This is intense. Why is this intense? Suspicion level is zero. Zero percent. Oh, yes. Hell yes, man. We nailed it. We freaking nailed it, man. What's your name, son? Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? Yes. The... The androids, they... He needs a rest. He's been working in the garden all day. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. No. I, I haven't seen anything. I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. No. Is somebody else in the house? I Washing machine when her not, uh, when when that a when draft. It must be a draft. I probably left a window open somewhere. Sorry for the inconvenience. Good evening, ma'am. Wind always makes sense. Good evening, Adam. 
Jesus Christ, that was so close. He's gone. It's okay, Alice. We'll be safe now. It's Rose. Get yourselves ready. We leave tonight. Huh. We're leaving that fast? Damn. Oh my god, there could have been so many options. This is probably the uh, the area where we uh, get caught, I guess. I don't know. That was really close, though. Okay. Thank you for watching today's episode. I'm gonna back tomorrow again so uh appreciate it i don't know i don't know what else do i say uh adios adios